A good starting point is the date that appears on the foil of the bottle, 1829, because it was in 1829 that the Bollinger Company was officially founded. In 1829, a German by the name of Bollinger came to Champagne, and not just anywhere in Champagne, but right here in Ailly to meet a landowner, Athanase de Villermont, whose family had owned vineyards here and in Cuy, 15 kilometers to the south, since 1650. He was the one who conveyed that message which he actually put in writing, the charter of ethics and quality that summarized the family's thinking, our code of principles. I use this charter to guide me when important decisions have to be made. And Bollinger quality resides in certain definite choices, authenticity, traceability. We believe that it's very important to identify the origin of Champagne wines. We chose to make a wine that is different. The Champagne Bollinger estate covers 160 hectares or 400 acres of vineyards, all from the three sub-regions of the Marne département. We own 100 hectares of Pinot Noir situated in the Grand Cru of the Montagne de Reims, 41 hectares of Chardonnay in the Côte des Blancs, and 19 hectares of Pinot Meunier in the Marne Valley. Our vineyards have since long ago been cultivated in a moderate way. Champagne Bollinger is a member of the Magister network and we favor only the most neutral and gentle treatments in order not to overstress the vines and to respect the environment. The harvest is entirely done by hand. The grapes are placed in 40 kilogram baskets, which are taken to the presses and pressed within 12 hours. The juices or musts are taken back to Ai, where they're transferred into oak barrels or small stainless steel tanks. We only retain the very best juice or first press, which is called the cuvee. The musts which are chosen to be barrel fermented have to be very mature. The advantage of barrel fermentation is that we can handle the winemaking by small batches and also it enables us to obtain a totally different style of wine. Wines don't behave in the same way when barrel fermented as when tank fermented. The still wines are then racked three times, which means that we separate the clear wine from the deposit and the wines are then blended. Each wine is tasted several times and the blending is carried out as a consequence of the tasting and analytical results. The use of barrels enables us to separate the grapes by variety and origin, or by cru. Barrel fermentation is one of the essential components in the Bollinger style. 
Every year we select some wines from those which have been barrel fermented and we transfer them into magnum sized bottles, which is ideal for aging, in order to be kept as reserve wines in our cellars. These wines, carefully selected by Cru and bottled in February, will undergo a slight fermentation in order to protect them from oxidation. We have in our cellars some 260,000 magnums of reserve wines, all coming from different years and crews. When it comes to blending the special cuvee, we choose the reserve wines according to the characteristics of the latest harvest, and we correct the year to adapt to the Boulanger style. The disgorging of the bottles of special cuvee is mechanical, whilst the disgorging of La Grande Année and RD, sealed with cork, is operated by hand. The wines finally go back down in the cellars for a period of four to six months in order to recover from the oxidation shock, after which they're labelled, packed and shipped. We have three main wines. First, we have sold for years now throughout the world what we call Bollinger Special Cuvée. The name was created as a result of conversations we had with our main market, which is still the UK, in order to make a wine of constant quality whatever the year. Because although the British love the Bollinger style, which is a brute or dry style, they don't want to know if the past year was a good year for wine or not, they just want the same style every year. So we created a blend, and the challenge is to keep it constant, or as they say in the UK, consistent. They call it Bolly. Actually, King Edward VII was the one who first called it that. It's a diminutive, Bollinger, Bolly. And in the English-speaking markets, this wine is known as the emblem of Bollinger. And then, from time to time, we produce a Grande Année, or Great Year, which is Bollinger's prestige cuvée. This bottle will obviously be in the Bollinger style, but we don't want all the Grand Années to be the same. So each Grand Année wine must inevitably have its own identity. And if we can't produce a Grand Année one year, we don't do it. This wine can have a longer life. It's what we call an RD, recently disgorged, that we recommend once you have passed the previous steps. Anyone who isn't really familiar with Boulanger should try special cuvee first, then move up to La Grande Année, and once they've understood the wine and the style, go for the RD. But in fact, not every Grande Année is entitled to become an RD, and every RD has not necessarily been a Grande Année originally. Apart from that, we only make two blends, and a few specialty wines. Thank you. 